Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven, accompanied by Queen Taylor. And today we're going to be taking a look at Wake Up in the Philippines, Philippine tourism ads. And you might be asking yourself, why are you gringos looking up Philippine tourism ads? <laughs> well, let me tell you something. I grew up and lived most of my life in Florida. And about three years ago, I moved out to Colorado. And I've always wanted to vacation outside of the United States to a tropical area. It was going to be Jamaica. We were going to do Jamaica um, this summer. This summer, But those plans have changed. And now we're kind of open for the summer. And I want to go to the Philippines because we've been reacting to Filipino artists like uh, Morissette, SB19. And we've been doing cultural videos like this where we've learned a lot about the culture. But, I, you know, of course, as we're nearing you know i, I want to get educated mm -hmm. i want to get educated and i feel like philippine tourism ads is probably the best place to start yeah. to kind of learn see what we're getting ourselves into maybe we'll be able to check some boxes off of where we want to go yeah because i i want to be as educated as i possibly can so you guys are going to really have to help me out i would hope i would love to vlog out there yeah, that would be, be so sick. And to meet you guys when we do finally go to the Philippines. I think that would be dope. We were going to watch these videos anyways on our own, but because we're YouTubers, it's like, hey, why don't we just do it with you guys? And, and you share some of your experiences and some of your suggestions and advice down in the comments. Yeah, it's kind of a perk because we just love learning about other cultures and countries and all that kind of stuff. And this is our way of getting this out there so other people can also learn if it's something that is outside of your your culture but then it also gives you the opportunity to give us more recommendations on things that we Absolutely. can learn so it's it's just really a win-win from the source <laughs> you guys from the source anyways let's hop on over and let's get to learning hey and real quick this is to my eldest son i just want to let you know i'm so proud of you and i love you so much and i miss you dearly i see you <laughs> all right let's pop in So we're going snorkeling. Oh, wow. that's beautiful, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Oh. Would you rather go snorkeling or scuba diving? Um, scuba diving, but I think that takes a lot more. You have to take like classes and stuff. Yeah. I've been snorkeling before. Today, I woke up below the surface. There's a lot of underwater stuff going on. Yeah. Where I learned to face my so fears. So cool. Go with the flow. The dolphins. That's so beautiful. Look at the coral reefs. Oh my gosh. It's when I came to appreciate the big and the small. <laughs> Made new friends from all over and could no longer hide my true colors. That I knew I'd emerged a local. God, that's beautiful. Cebu. Wow, look at that water. It said there was over 7,000 islands at the, like the last clip. It oh, came in real hot. I missed that. That's so cool. I would love to go safari. I mean, the snorkeling aspect, like I'm a little bit of afraid, like they were showing shots of the eel and there was no way. There's no way I'm getting in water with those eels. <laughs> 
Uh-uh. I think it's it's a little bit scary, but it's also just really exciting. I went snorkeling in Mexico when I was 16, and that was kind of definitely, I would say, like, that summed up my experience because it was the coolest thing ever, and I was taking it all in, but I was also so scared I was going to get eaten by a shark. <laughs> so I'd be, like, underwater looking, and I'd be like, wow, for, like, five seconds, and then I'd go, <laughs> I'd look around for a shark for a couple seconds, and then I'd be like, okay, no shark, back to wow for a little bit, and that was just my entire experience snorkeling. I... <laughs> I didn't even think about the sharks, you guys. I wasn't even <laughs> contemplating that sharks could be in those waters. Guys, are there sharks in your waters? <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah, duh. Of course. Of course. Jeez. Oh, it's beautiful, though. I think scuba diving would be more fun because you get to go deeper and see more. Yeah. But it's also, you know, you have to take classes. It's scarier. Like, it's, I'm sure, more dangerous. And I think either one would be fun, but... Yeah. I wish I was a better surfer than I was. I, I tried surfing when I was a kid. Yeah. I couldn't paddle. I would always die paddling out. <laughs> that by the time I got to the waves, there was like no way. <laughs> it, it's a, it's an athlete. It's an athlete. It's an athlete, you guys. <laughs> Where we're always at the edge of our seats. Defying what, gravity what one moment. Is that? I have no idea. Or volcano, I'm sorry. To communing with giants. Oh, well, shark. Yeah. That'd be really cool. And getting oh, wow. lost in the lights That's the next. That's pretty. Stop, is that real? After feeling the heat, mm. and I mean really feeling the heat, we finally I'm regained our balance. I'm allergic to shellfish, you guys. And found our epic finale. A little, little bungalow on the water. Albe. I'm trying to read the names, but... I know, they're fast, too. See? Oh, 7641, yeah. Today wow. I woke up inside a kaleidoscope. That's so cool. Yeah, it is. Surrounded by mesmerizing patterns. God, I can imagine the food. Vibrant shades. Mm, I Look at all the food. All. Golden colors you can practically taste. That's one of my favorite things about traveling is trying new foods. Yeah. Mm. I feel like it's a lot of Endless seafood based. Yeah. Powdery pink sand. Powdery pink sand. Rainbow vessels riding gentle waves. A technicolor dream just bursting at the seams. With ever changing hues and views. But no fail, always a whole lot of fun. Look at that, that's so beautiful. Yeah, it is. I woke up inside an artist's dream. Oh, come on. Where the oh. paintings that That's that's ridiculous. That definitely looks like like you're out of the touristy area and more like in with the locals i was gonna ask I love that. have you ever seen those um vi videos on instagram where it's like um it, it shows a beautiful shot like that and then it, it's like expectation versus reality yeah and then the reality is literally this is swarming with it was like in in italy or something like that one like beautiful road with all the houses on the water and then the reality of it is like swarming with fucking people yeah oh i wonder if that's like that. this doesn't look like that but just makes you think of it it's very beautiful yeah it is i, I love all the different colors of the houses i do too man it's all like going up a hillside that's so sick like yes this is what i want to be this is where i want to be yeah like we got a rent a room in one of those exactly <laughs> And like the the rocks, come on. Where the paintings dance with every brush stroke. And works of art span from floor to ceiling. I witness masters at their craft who transform even the oh, ordinary cool. into yeah. exceptional. I don't know if you ever watched the movie Harriet the Spy as a kid, but that like walkway with the bottles and stuff reminded me of that movie. Confections came in more colors than I could imagine. And a creative escape waited around every corner. Ooh, a rap 
This was probably my favorite one yeah. so far. Once I woke up in a hidden place. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Did you notice their um Oh no, I didn't. They're uh labeling like the different towns that they're showcasing I did or not. cities. I don't want to say towns, but you know what I mean? Yeah. No, That's I'm so too busy cool. like staring at all the beauty. <laughs> and it's honestly like coming in hot every time. Paradise, unlike anything I had ever seen. And not the kind wow. from fantasy. The one you could really sink your toes into. I walked beaches few had ever walked before. While the waves whispered their secrets. Aww. This place was my buried treasure. What are those things called? I don't know. Those and even though I couldn't stay forever, the story of the islands never leaves me. So why couldn't you stay there forever? Woke up while nature Kelly was sound Barza. asleep, so I could marvel at its kingdom. I strolled through its lush gardens. Oh, that would be so cool! That and saw every on that. little wonder yeah. up close. Here, you can dance with giants, discover a feast for the eyes, and a feast for the appetite. Walls that hold heroes' stories oh. told me of their bravery. While sacred places blessed my journey. Oh. I roamed places that stood the test of time. And others that were there since the beginning. Holy smokes, that was stunning. This one was my favorite. This one was your favorite? Yeah, I feel like you really Every got day, to see like the culture and like in a sea of green. Yeah. The real side of things. But this a place is also where a tourist everything map. grows. Yeah. So I feel like it's even it's dreams, more, you know, that weave themselves into our style and art. Beautiful. Here the land is rich and healthy. and always happy to give. That is a good looking pineapple. <laughs> the people here are connected to the land. And everywhere you look, it shows. Yeah, it does. Wow. Like if these videos are actual depictions of what the Philippines are like, you guys are definitely in touch with your lands. I mean, yeah. we have, it's so sad I that we're not. I woke up to my own adventure book. Having no idea what was up next. That's beautiful. Each page was different. Every chapter, a new surprise. Wow. All I could do was go along for the ride. Trust my gut and let the story unfold. Would you go surfing? Would you try it out? I would try it. This I don't think I'd be very good at it. The yeah. best travel plan is to make no plans. I actually never tried it when I lived in let Florida. Life happen. We'd have to do it. Like, I love the architecture in the buildings, mm -hmm. they're so nice. It kind of reminds me of like Every Roman. I wake up yeah. in a Rome, Please. Italy. Where I can sink my teeth into history. Stop like they have all. Or shock my taste buds with something new. Yum. It's here I learned the color of sweetness. Expanded my pantry <laughs> and my appetite. 
Ooh, that looks good. Like, looks like baklava. So, I feel like every next bite only leaves you hungry for more. We could probably make it speaking English in the Philippines. I feel like we sure. get it by enough. I mean, obviously, we'd have to like pick up on some of the language from the locals, and we'll we'll get babble and stuff like I that. Yeah. Or was that a stone? This is the same one. I just played. Oh, is it? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Are we done? Oh yeah, they got them. They got them both. Let's go to this one. Today, I woke up on wild ride. You want to go white water rafting? I have done that before too. It's fun, but also a little scary. I want a lazy river, you guys. <laughs> it takes me to some pretty unexpected drops. I rode a bunch of highs. That's a no for me, dog. <laughs> and lows. I screamed at the top of my lungs. Oh, look at that water. That's stunning. Just when I thought it was over, there was another thrill waiting around the corner. Nemo swimming out the sea! And for I belong, I stay for the right. It's always an adventure. Beautiful. I just woke up from the time of my life. It looked like New York in the background. Yeah, it did. It started with a major throwback. Then I got to meet the big shots. Oh, that's sick. I found a sweet spot between wow. cultures. And hung out with the artsy crowd. I even picked up a few things along the way. After that, things kicked into overdrive. It started with a whirlwind through the streets. An unforgettable eats. A celebration of flavor in every bite. And an epic new party at every turn. The best thing about oh, it here. The music we would the listen good times to. Yeah. Are never over. You know, so I'll wait. We get asked a lot. Like, what's going on with Filipino artists? And, like, why are we reacting to so many Filipino artists? Mm -hmm. And my only response is because if you have, like, uh, the world at your fingertips, like we do with music and all around the world, and we see it being a variety channel, there is so many talented, good singers that are coming out of the Philippines. And it's, like, it's it's not like we have a choice. Yeah. If another country wanted to, you know, put up singers like America, if Americans wanted to put out talent the way that the Filipino singers are, like if they wanted to, why haven't they? They we they they they're not there. <laughs> <laughs> There's something in the water in the Philippines. Everyone's singing. It's a singing culture. Yeah. And there's so many, so many amazing singers where it's like the world singers are being produced from the Philippines. Yeah. Every person that we come across that's Filipino that sings can sing really well. And it's like, it's are you just born that way? Right. In your blood, you just come out the womb with the magical ability to just sing beautifully. Because we've <laughs> we've listened to famous Filipinos, but we've also listened to just like random videos of just random people singing. Mm -hmm. And it's incredible. Yeah. It's honestly incredible. I agree fully. So the music that we'll be introduced to in the Philippines where we visit would be incredible. Yeah, it would. Oh, the nightlife. I'm going to like hit up Morissette and be like, hey, let's hang out. <laughs> like no hey, shit. Hey, let's I, hang out. Hey, we're going to, you want to get dinner together? <laughs> I, I think I can make it happen. Yes. Oh, okay. I think, yep. I'm just saying it now. Put a pin in it. <laughs> we'll come we back vlog. to this when we're yeah. vlogging with Morissette. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Postcard every single that's Dang. cool. She's like, I don't even know you. <laughs> she I know. She won't do. She's like, who? She won't do. Why would I do that? I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
each corner a love letter straight from cloud nine. Scribbled reminders to soak up the sun. I need the sun so bad. Same, I'm like see-through. Everywhere's an invitation <laughs> to come over. Pasty skin, pasty. What is oh, the warmth so I find amazing. nowhere else that makes me stay? Oh, I can just like smell these videos. I know. Today, I woke up in a historic playground where fun dates back to the 16th century. Things are pretty old school here. Wow. Really old school. That'll be fun. Play. We get our thrills in a Was giant a sandbox. Yeah. Like that movie Ghost? And spend all day <laughs> sure. playing in the water. Yeah. Where adventures come by the hundreds. This is a place where time stands absolutely oh, still. But we can never seem to. Are there mosquitoes in the Philippines? No. Hope you're not asking me, I have no idea. I woke up to worlds unknown. Oh, she's like in a cave, that's really pretty. I want to be in a cave. Me too. You are sort of a caveman. <laughs> Where water is stronger than rock. So I know I that was going to be offensive, but like I didn't take any offense to it. Okay. <laughs> Get washed up on a deserted island. Go a sandbar. Explore the locals' living history. See, and what's amazing is that, like, if you live there, this is all in your backyard. Yeah. You know? Perhaps even find a hole in the wall. Oh my gosh. I want to go kayaking there. Or discover a whole new world to be on top of. <sighs> Today, I woke up at the edge of the world. I want to wake up at the edge of the world. Oh, Where the time can't goats. reach. <laughs> Tiny houses stand untouched by the present. Oh, that's cool. Rolling hills drop off to who knows. Customs are a little different here. Even the fashion is extraordinary. Every corner stands another wonder. Wow. Our own little world away from it all. That is really beautiful. This is where you go to just let go of um, like life and your troubles and you just live in the moment and enjoy it. Today, I woke up because it's just Where the hustle and bustle. Right when I say that, this is a bustle. Oh, no, that was weird. No! <laughs> Where a king stands proud and tall. You can really say, sky's the limit. That'd be cool. And for every not too far off wonder, every feast to remember, or tranquil escape. <laughs> it's always it's magical. Yeah. Look at my chicken bumps. Oh my gosh. I think that's it. All that did is make me want to go a thousand oh, times. We got first. one more. We got a little. Wow. <laughs> more fun awaits in the Philippines, you guys. Every day, the Philippines does more than wait. You can do one more. It's only a minute and 30. Putting together new adventures. Oh, fun. <laughs> A 
fun experiences for you to try. Oh, nope. hell no. <laughs> We're making our sights better for you to see. Oh, that's beautiful, though. Yeah, it was. Cooking up new dishes for you to taste. Wow. And preparing cultural discoveries for you to feel. And we're I watched not the video on that before. People doing that dance thing with like the sticks. I don't know what it is, but I watched a whole video on it once. Yeah. It's really interesting. Because we know that you deserve more. We can't wait to welcome you. All right, so a little bonus video there at the end. I think that we're going to probably be doing a lot of these in the future. Okay, I understand that these tourism ads are just that tourism ads, and they're probably Instagram. We use that term Instagram where it's like it's more than what it actually is. Yeah, it's like the the flashier side of things yeah. and sometimes worked up to look better and get your expectations a little higher than reality. But so I'm sure this is commercialized to make it a seem and, and that's probably not going to be our experience, right? Like we're probably going to see, but we're not going to know where to hit these spots where it's like, hey, you could get those like instagram moments or instagram places sure. if you educate yourself and know where to go i think that there's like even with the bahamas and um you know i feel like there's very tourism you know rich places mm -hmm. and so like that's why i want to educate myself so that i we get a full experience not like the the carved out tourism you know here dumb american go here yeah, because, you know. I mean, travel is one of my biggest passions. And that's yeah. another thing that I love about watching these videos is not only do we really like to learn about new new countries and cultures, but this is my way of, like, traveling until I get to travel as well. We're it, virtual it, explorers. Yeah, guys. exactly. I'm, like, living vicariously through the people in these videos. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I think, like, for me, especially personally, I know a lot of people aren't this way, but I don't want to just go somewhere and just go to the touristy places yeah i mean granted yeah there are some touristy places that i want to go but i would much much rather go somewhere like talk to locals find out from locals places to go and go like off the beaten path and yeah you know that's like way more important to me and that's it is you know you kind of do your research and you try to find out and you just have to be open-minded when you travel and you know you get there you might have some places that you have planned out to go but if you're open to talking to locals i think that makes like the world of difference and you guys if you don't know taylor is a little travel connoisseur <laughs> connoisseur 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 she's traveled to more countries than most people have on uh, earth i don't know what I, I would go that far but i've i've traveled i've dabbled in some travel you dabbled <laughs> in some travels guys i've never i never left america in fact i've i haven't even hit like multiple states in america i think i've got four states in america out of 50 just to give you a perspective out of 50 i've only been to four of them and who you know i think by opening up culturally and doing a YouTube and being with you who mm -hmm. is way more cultured than me um, really makes me want to travel and go out and see the world because I feel like you only have one life to live. The world is your oyster. It's mm -hmm. massive. Like, why? Why wouldn't you, if you had the opportunity, go out and see the world? Absolutely. You know what I mean? Especially now that we have a baby, it's very, very, very important to me because as I said, travel is like one of my absolute biggest passions. It's very important for me to get him out and to, you know, to explore the world as much as possible with him. And, you know, I want him to see as much of the world as possible, just like I want to see as much of the world as possible. Yeah. And I want him to have life experiences through traveling and meeting people and experiencing different cultures and trying new food and all that sort of stuff. So this is... This is a great way to kind of dabble in it and get our feet wet a little bit and, and learn about these places until we can get there ourselves. And until I got older, I didn't really care to travel, but now it's like one of my most favorite things to do when we're together. Like we love to go see nature. We love to go to beautiful places. And I think that's just something as I've gotten older, I've appreciated nature a lot more mm -hmm. to now where it's like the only thing I want to do is do something like adventurous or outdoorsy. We were talking about buying an RV 
and living in an RV just to travel the United States. Full time. Full freaking time. Like, no shit, you guys. Like, we were looking into it. It's a dream. Like, sell this house, this house, and go get an RV, which would be, like, the size of this room. But... But we got to wake up somewhere new every week or every day yeah. if we wanted. And it's all about life experiences. And I don't want to be an old woman and look back and be like, man, I really enjoyed my life staying cooped in the house and looking at my, you know, multiple states that I've been to. And that's it. And yeah. there's just so much more to life. And there's so much world and beautiful places and cool people out there that. And cultures to explore. Like, I feel like in America, you're like in this bubble where you think it's like America or bust and mm -hmm. there's nothing in and as I gotten older, I realized there's more to the world than just America. And I want to explore it. I, I feel like I've been brainwashed to thinking like this is the greatest thing in the world. And it's like, man, that's such a narrow minded perspective to have. And especially when it's like you're talking. I think this YouTube channel has been the greatest eye opener thing for me because, mm -hmm. I mean, we've learned so much about Filipino culture already that I would have never in my wildest dreams have thought about, have learned about, or, you know, it's just incredible. So the Philippines is definitely something that we want to go check out. Mm -hmm. We want to actually, no shit, travel to it. So guys, leave down in the comments if you think that there's other videos like this to help ease our, I don't know, what would you call that? Travel planning, our itinerary, sure. um, education on the culture. Because again, I don't want to just show up and be a dumb American. And I feel like I'm going to be a dumb American anyways. But <laughs> Teach him the ways. <laughs> teach me something so I don't put my foot in my mouth five minutes onto the island, you know? I always tease him. He's he's come a long way since we've been together with yeah. travel because he had zero desire zero. when we got together. And it's it's come a long way, but I always tell him, you know, because he has, like he said, sort of been brainwashed that America is the greatest, that... Um, I always jokingly tell him that I don't want to travel anywhere with him because he's going to get a shot in a back alley somewhere. America! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Like, I'll travel alone. I'll tell you all the cool stuff when I get back. I know. <laughs> Alive. <laughs> but it's good. I've been open up yeah. to it. It's been really good. I mean, I, I, I think a lot of people mix patriotism with bigotry. Yeah. And, like, I'm, I'll admit it. Like, I was in that ballpark for many years until I've just grown out of it until I woke up and was like, man, technology is rotting our brains and being out in nature is like recharging and mm -hmm. it's like food for the soul, you guys. But anyways, we're ranting now. This is like a 40 minute video. <laughs> so if you guys have uh, stayed this long in the video, thank you so much. And uh, the password is fun awaits. Okay. Fun awaits. Guys, type down fun awaits in the comments if you waited this long in the video. If you watched it. Oh, fun awaits. All right, that's our time. Thanks, right. guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye.